I'm Arthur Hart, and in this video, I'm going to teach you at home how to vote. Now this can be divided into two parts, registering and election day. Now registering is the bit that I think puts most people off, it's all that uh, sort of paperwork that people don't like to fill out. Now you can contact your local council any time to register, but one thing is absolutely certain, you will not be able to vote if you haven't registered to do so. You can't just show up on the day. Now for phase two, election day. Now, polling station signs will be out here on the day, but polling day only lasts from 7am to 10pm, and not a minute either way. Now you may find tellers outside the polling station. These guys represent political parties, and they ask for your details and if they can get your promise to vote for them. Normally, people bring their polling card with them to the polling station. But even if you lose it, you will still be asked to state your name and address, and they can find the information for you. Telling someone you are somebody else to vote is a case of serious fraud, and the consequences could be severe. Now the easy bit, voting. After you put the X on it, put the ballot paper into the ballot box. For most elections, you only get one vote. However, if you're doing a European election, you might get more than one. You need an awareness of the elections coming and how to find out who's the best person to vote for. Now what the voting system does is let you have your voice heard. If you can't get to a polling station, you can apply for postal votes where you get to send your vote by mail. Or you can give your vote to somebody else via proxy where you can trust somebody to vote in your place. Now I hope you've enjoyed this short video on how to vote properly. Now I hope to see you voting in the future.